and welcome to You Are The Chef. I'm Heidi and we're here today at the Shanghai Hongqiao Airport Hotel. This week we've got some fabulous dishes coming up. Whether it's grass-fed, grain-fed, wagyu, strip loin, tenderloin, you name it, beef is one of the most fabulous ingredients that you can use in cooking. Now, if you're a beef lover, you're going to love this week because we're going to be creating some amazing dishes all based around beef. But before we start that, let's go meet the chef. Today's chef is Zhang Aijun. He spent about 13 years in the Western kitchen management. As a former executive chef at many top restaurants, he is an expert at Italian and German cuisine. He's now the head chef at the Shanghai Hongqiao Airport Hotel. Today we're making beef fried rice. The taste of all natural green pepper, the tenderness of dried beef cubes, accompanied with amazing seasonings. Oh, just thinking about this ought to be making you dying to taste it. Okay, so we have got all the ingredients that we need to make this very unique and ultra special fried rice. How? Now, we are going to start. 呃，我们先把蔬菜跟牛肉切成丁，先把青椒的两个草根尾去掉。所以我们这次既要用这个绿的辣椒是吧？嗯嗯，对。不要有不同的不要有红的，对。OK。对。这个菜是你自己想的吗？嗯，对，这个菜的话，应该是之前因为我们酒店的外国人比较多。嗯外国人的话，对对中国的炒饭的话，他们可能对扬州炒饭上比较熟悉，但他们喜欢吃黄油啊、大蒜啊，所以我们就是设计了一道炒饭。嗯，这里的人可能更多的是旅游的人，是不是？对对对，可能是还没有接受这个中国菜。对，所以是你这里为什么要切的这么小？因为炒饭切的小一点的话，口感更加好一点。OK， 然后我们把牛肉也切成丁。If you're finding it hard to cut the meat, one of the things that you can do is put it into the freezer for a short period of time. Then it makes it really easy to control the size and the shape of the beef. So, I mean, obviously, if you're a professional, you don't have to worry about it. 好，所以这个锅子已经是很热的。我们这个要加油吗？我们要加油。OK。加一点点黄油。哦，黄油，所以其实是不是一般的橄榄油也没有。对，这道菜的特特特色就是用黄油炒的饭。OK， 那要多少？呃，半勺。半勺，差不多。啊、再来再来一半一杯。哎，差不多是吧、啊、？OK，, okay. v e r y different flavor to adding even olive oil. But one thing you do have to make sure that you're careful of is not to burn the butter because then it becomes very bitter. 那你这个要快点加进去，因为我们不要这个黄油焦掉了，是不是？对对对对。有一个香味的，哦。稍微再炒炒一下，然后把这个蔬菜炒的稍微再熟一点。OK。然后我们就放。香味。对。都出来了。对，出来了。OK。好。还有，现在是我们要加那个大蒜。那这个大蒜是你加了什么东西？还加什么？放了点油，然后大蒜呢不能切得太细，太细的话容易焦。啊，好。好。还有呢，大蒜不要太早放进去，对对对，要把对要呃会焦掉。然后的话，呃，蔬菜还没熟。大蒜已经好了，已经,已经对，所以要把蔬菜炒熟，牛肉炒熟，然后再放、呃 okay. 大蒜。Okay, I don't know why, but I know a lot of people are in the habit of when they're adding onion to get add the garlic at the same time. But actually, it's so easy to burn garlic, and then it becomes really bitter, and you lose all that beautiful smell and flavour from the garlic. So it's always best to add it a little bit later. 现在怎么样？可以放米饭了。哎。OK， 那我们这个米饭你们是用的是什么饭？米饭的话，我们就是用江苏的一些大米，呃，做的。然后是一定要是冷的放进去对对对是吧？对。现在放吗？可以放。要放多少？呃，你说。再来一点，再来一点，再来一点。You can see how dry this rice is, and that's exactly what you need. So we do the jump. Okay, whilst we are continuing to fry this, let's take a commercial break. Hi, 
welcome to You Are The Chef. All this week we've been making amazing beef dishes that can melt in your mouth and that you can cook in your kitchen. Today we've got a very special beef fried rice. So we've got our carrots, our capsicum and our garlic already put into it. Now we've just added our cold rice.然后现在是用白胡椒 这个有意思啊，对，这个因为它会脆的，对，很香，很crunchy，嗯，嗯，然后放一点点荷兰青碎，荷兰青，OK，这样可以增加它的一个颜色跟香味，嗯，你可以闻出来，它的味道真的是
That's it. I know you've learnt lots of great stuff about how to use beef in your kitchen. And remember that next week we've got more fabulous dishes coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. We'll see you then.